Tonight, authorities have ordered the mandatory evacuation of the entire village of Riadoso because of fast-moving wildfires burning nearby. You're taking a live look at Midtown Riadoso tonight from one of the village's cameras where you can see the empty center of Riadoso with black smoke and a slight orange glow in the background. It's quite a change from just hours ago when massive plumes of smoke and red flames dominated the horizon. CBS 4 at 10's Ariana Pata got as close to the scene as she could, and she joins us live now with the latest. Well, we went ahead and drove out as close as we possibly could get going on Highway 70 towards Rio Doso, but we got stopped right here in Mescalero or right on the outskirts of Mescalero, I should say. You can see right here behind me, this is where traffic gets stopped and anyone heading in this direction is forced to completely turn around. Now, this is all because of that South Fork fire happening in Rio Doso, which has caused the entire village to actually be evacuated. And I want to go ahead and show you some video that was sent into our newsroom by a bunch of different viewers. You can see in this video right here just a lot of smoke, big puffs of smoke outside of people's homes, just completely surrounding their area. Now, there are actually two fires burning near Rio Doso, the South Fork, which is the larger one, and the Salt Fire, which is the smaller one. Now, both of those fires, both completely uncontained. Right now, you're taking a live look at this fire that has just completely exploded. Now, in just eight hours, the fire went from 15 acres to nearly 5,000 acres. It's also causing some power outages. First responders in Rio Doso asking the utility company to de-energize parts of the village right now eight different outages and over 2,000 affected now I did speak to one woman living in Rio Doso who tells me that she just barely regained cell phone service and she's just now trying to get a hold of any and all family members in that area trying to make sure they got to a safe spot we are of course continuing this coverage tonight and we'll see you right back here in just a little bit for now I'm reporting live in Mescalero Ariana Parra CBS 4 at 10.